In this Google tutorial, I am going to show you um, how to use and create circles. So if you think of the Google Plus circles as kind of your social circles, basically it's a way for Google to allow you to organize the people that you're following and the people that follow you into groups that um, allow you to be very specific with the posts that you make. So you can post things and send messages just to specific groups of people. So what you do along the left hand side is go under the um, click on the people tab. First thing it's going to do is pull up um, some suggestions of people that you should follow. For us obviously there's a lot of WCPS people that come up here. Um, a lot of these are my students actually, colleagues, people that follow me, people that know people that I follow, um, that kind of thing. In order to follow someone really all you have to do is click on follow underneath of their name. Now, sometimes people will have their account set so that they have to approve you following them, and if that's the case, you'll just get a notification that you're following pending approval from the user. Once, you've had, and once you have all the people that you want to follow, at least at that point, if you go under following, this is where you're going to see um, your circles. So it seems that Google automatically puts people under your following category, um, which is kind of the, just, just the default. Um, but you can change, uh, Google also has friends and family circles and acquaintances that you can put things in, but you can change or add different circles. So um, if I wanted to go under, to create a new circle, I'm going to click on new circle and I'm going to put technology um, vertical team members. So I'm going to create this circle as if it's just for the people that are on my technology vertical team who I would want to communicate very specific things to. So I'm going to click create and then it shows up in my list. So you'll see I already have a Fountaindale staff list and now I have this new list that I've created. If you click on the list, the circle itself, um, it's going to show you all the people that are in there. By clicking on the right hand side where it says following, you can choose which circles you want to add that person to. So um, so for Amber, I'm going to put her under Fountaindale staff and my technology vertical team members um, circles. That way anything that I communicate to any of these three circles will go to her. Okay, now the cool thing about the circles is that you can communicate directly with those people as I've said. If you click on the three dots in the top right corner, it's going to give you the option to change a few circle settings, um, to delete your circle if you ever need to get rid of it, and then to, to view the posts from that circle. So I'm going to click on the posts from that circle, and whoops, actually I'm going to go back and pick a different circle. All right, post from the circle. So this is anything that anybody has um, that's in that group has posted recently will come here. Okay, so now I can click the pencil in the bottom right corner and I am going to just say this is a test message for the tutorial. Now, the important thing is to go up here and to select where you want um, this to be posted to. So if you click the see more option, you have tons of options. You can um, post it to a specific collection, you can post, post it to a specific community, or you can post it to a specific um, circle. So again, you could click this one and it will go to all your circles. You could click just the ones that you want it to go to. So I'm going to send this just to the Fountaindale staff. You can also choose people individually. So if I wanted to go to Fountaindale staff, um, but also to someone else who's not on the Fountaindale staff, I would just click their name. And now whenever I post it, it will become visible in their news feeds. Now, if you are at your home screen and you want it, you don't have to post to your circle the way I just showed you. If you're at your home screen and you create a new post, you have the option there to change who's going to see it as well. So you can post um, to different circles in a variety of different ways. Up next, I'm going to talk to you about your Google Plus profile and the different settings that you have and the options that you have that you can change in that tab.